Hey, I'm just Vosco and we're back in the catch co carp and course. Sorry, I was trying to concentrate and uh, talk at the same time then. Um, I'm going to give the barbel challenge another go. Whether we're going to get any better than we are. We're currently sat in 13th position. Which I might try and get this a bit further over. Let's try and... Let's say about there, and um, we're going to go 70%. Hopefully we don't end up on the bank. A uh, little bit. Yeah, about there would be good. One and two are a bit close, if I'm honest. Oh, we've got a bite on one. Never mind, it's not too close at all. Hopefully as a barbel, that'll start our... Uh, I'll attempt to off to a brilliant start. Now, I think I've got cheese on all three rods, which has done me well up till now. I would like to move up into... It's unlikely, but it would be nice to move up into 10th. In the top 10 would be good to finish. Uh, there we go. Beautiful barbel. Get a photo of that. Lovely, and that one's coming at £12.8 ounces. So let's see if we can get this back out there. Let's say about there, and we're going to go 78. That's probably too far. Nope, do you know what? That's okay. That's not bad at all. Should we try and get some bait out there? I'm a bit rubbish with this, but we're going to give it a go. So we're going to feed up that area there. Let's say about 60. Uh, okay, I didn't even see a splash then. Oh, we've gone 63. I think I'm just throwing bait onto the bank in all fairness. Let's go lower. Let's go 48. Okay. Okay. 48 was a really good bit off target, but let's try that again 48 ish 43 that has to be close right ish Let's get another one in there. Oh, no, that's too far Do you know what we've got bait all around it that's the main thing number two's coming a bit close be nice if we could get that. F oh, never mind. We got another bite on one. Come on. Okay, start reeling would be good. Thank you. And I'm going to say this is probably another barbel. Hopefully a bigger one. It's definitely putting up more of a fight. I think these are probably my favourite fish so far that I've been I've fished that I've actually spent time fishing for on this game are the barbel. But there are a lot of fish I haven't even attempted yet, like the predator fish haven't really touched them yet. But I probably should actually. We should give that a go. I'm sure there's a predator series um, online league thing, so maybe I'll try that for the first time of fishing for predator fish. What's the worst that can happen if it's my first attempt? Are you stuck on the boat now? You are, aren't you? Aha! It is a barbel. It's a nice barbel. They are beautiful fish. What have we got? We got 12 pounds, 6 ounces. I don't think that's enough to move us up a position. We are just above Titch at the moment. So let's go 75. Get that back in over there. That's okay. Can we reduce this and just reel it slightly? It's on gravel. Why is it on gravel? I don't want to be on gravel. There we go. Sit there. That's good. We need to get number two back out there. Would be good. So let's reel that in. Oh, let's speed it up, actually. Um, we're probably looking at 60, do we reckon? Let's go 60. Hopefully that's good enough to miss the bank. 
Yes, spot on. Excellent. Uh, number three is coming this way, but I might let that go for the time being. Possibly. No, let's get number. Let's let's re reposition three. Because we're on a flowing river, they do teach send, tend to flow towards you, which I presume is is fair enough. Um, let's go here. We're going to go 63. How about that? That should avoid the bank. It did, but it didn't land in a very good position. Uh, about there. Let's leave it there and see what happens. We've got a bite on number two. It's bite after bite on this. Loving it. Start reading them, please. Thank you. Oh, we've got a heart beater. Oh, ho, ho. Okay, so this is my first heart beater of the session. The heart beaters don't tend to be that impressive, in all fairness, so far that I find. This one, up, this one is putting up a good fight. Hopefully we can land it. So that would be nice. Let's give it a little yank, bring it forward a bit. Are you going to... What are you? I haven't seen it yet. I'm going to say carp. Oh, no, it's not. It's a barbel. A good-sized barbel, then, I'm guessing. Oh, please don't break. Please don't break. The heartbeat's getting stronger. And he's in. Let's have a look at this, baby. Look at that for a beautiful fish. That is a 15 pound, three ounces. If I press X, I can send that to wherever, right? <laughs> so did that help us move at all? No, we are still in 13th position. That is fine. We'll just keep plodding away. 68, that should be about right. I do tend to find this is a good spot to catch barbel. To the left of the clock, along the bank, just sit here happily watching... I was going to say watching the clock go round, but the clock doesn't go round. Just sit here nicely picking up fish. So I'm going to carry on for a little bit and then I'll bring you back. And we're currently up to £67, which is not good enough. We do have bites going on all over here. I'm just trying to get this one in, which is taking ages. I haven't even seen this one yet. He's just staying below the water. Number three is flying off over there, as you can see. Which I'm desperately trying to get to if I could get this one out. This is a carp. That's no good. We don't want a carp. Uh, let's get that one back out. And then we'll get number three in. Oh, that's no good. That's good. There we go. Let's hit number three. Hopefully it's a barbel. He's a long way out, whatever he is. Come on, in you come. Don't go behind the clock. Don't go behind the clock. Not that it matters, because we do magically go through the clock. Let's try and pull him straight through, shall we? And hope he doesn't get... There's a little area behind that clock where they seem to get, and it just breaks the line almost instantly. There we go. We should be fine now. Let's just keep bringing him this way. I'm going to say this might be another carp again. Doesn't seem to be... Or maybe it is fighting like a barbel. It took off, so it's likely a barbel out the two. Carps don't tend to take off. Oh, it's a diddly one. Look at... Oh, it's a little chub. A specimen chub. Not what we wanted, but it's a chub nonetheless. So let's get this one. I've been putting one in... Oh, number two is off just around here. It's quite deep here, but... 
we are getting the occasional hit on it so let's go and get number two in no why is it slipping come on be a good barbel that's what we want a nice big barbel just to push us up one place would be nice some improvement is what I'm looking for. Don't go behind that clock. Don't. Well, whatever's on here is putting up a fight. I'm going to guess... I don't want to say Chubb. Chubb wouldn't put up this fight. I, maybe. It is a Chubb. Look at that. I'm slowly learning what they feel like when you fight with them. It's a good size chub from the looks of it. He doesn't want to come in, well ever. It's not what we need, but it is a nice... Oh, it's a little barbel. Ignore me. I'm so rubbish at seeing what the fish are. So let's get these lines back out. I'm going to keep one and two over that direction still. Because that tends to be where we're hitting the barbel. That's way too hard. Straight on the bank. Yep, thought that might be. Are you going to come back? Oh, I've got it turned down, that's why. There we go, sit there for me. I'm going to push number one back out. And uh, I'll bring you back in a second. Okay, we have a heart beater here. Oh, it's a carp. What? <sighs> How do I break the line? There's a way I can do this, right? No. I have absolutely no idea. Let's just really push this thing. Oh, it's going to be a big fish, though, isn't it? Oh, I've got nothing else biting, so I might as well do it. You can beat your heart at me quicker and quicker all you like. I need you to come in quickly. He does look like a big fish. A really big fish. Come on. He doesn't want to come in, does he? Let's try and encourage him closer to the boat. Oh. Don't get stuck on the boat. Come on. How big's this then? Wow, look at the size of that. <laughs> Love it. 60 pound mirror carp. Liking that. Okay, so let's get these back in the water and actually try and get some barbel before the time runs out. That's probably a little too far. Nope, that's spot on. Perfect. Let's get number two back out there. Barbel has sort of disappeared. It started off so strong with barbel and now all the carp seem to have moved in. Which is a little annoying. That's good. That one can sit there. And we're going to reposition number three, I think. It's very rare I pull Barbel out from this area. And let's get you closer to this end, shall we? We still haven't got anywhere near what we did last time. Which is a little annoying. Okay, sit down. There we go, perfect. Now we just have to wait and hopefully get a bite. I should probably get some bait in over there. If I can get it anywhere close. That's not close, that's only 35, so that's going to be miles away. Yep, we probably need around 60 something, 58 maybe. Oh, get, getting closer, getting very close. All the fish seem to be around my boat at the moment. Which is typical. They're never where you want them to be. Oh, we got a bite on two. Come on, Barbel. 
Reel it in, reel it in. Whoa, don't break it. Nice and steady. Hopefully we got a good sized barbel. Just enough to, even if we raise, go up one position, that would be nice. It would be nice to make this fishing trip worthwhile. But it has been worthwhile. I actually just really enjoy just sat here catching barbel. But to go up to 12th place is better than 13th place, right? This one does not seem to be that big. Oh, number one's on the go now as well. Let's see if we can have a look at this, see if it is actually a barbel. You're going to cut. You are a barbel. You look like a little barbel, though. Oh. You're still putting up a little bit of a fight, though. But you do look tiny. And it is a tiny weeny barbel. So let's get number one in. Oh, this one's definitely a bit bigger. Oh, it's just got more of a fight. It might not be bigger at all. Oh. I don't know why Barbel seemed to be obsessed with that little bit of foliage on the side of this river, but we do hit a lot of Barbel. If we come away from there, it's pretty much carp we're hitting. But if we, we're there, the majority of the time it's Barbel. Don't go behind the clock. Don't go behind the clock. We want you to come in, please. Here he comes. What have we got? Have we got a barbell? It's actually staying underneath, so I want to say it could be a carp. Although it seems a bit energetic for a carp. I still haven't got a good look at it yet. Come on, come to the surface so we can see you. Oh, it is a carp. There we go. A diddly little carp. Not helpful in the slightest. Uh, right, what have we got? Number one we need to get back out. Maybe I'll go a bit further up. Like that. Yeah, that looks good to me. We're going to get number two back in. Where have all the barbel gone? Uh, how about pretty much the same location? Maybe a little too far with that. Yes, yeah, hit the gravel. Hmm. That'll be fine. Once it starts moving, it'll be fine. Uh, let's grab number three and reposition that. Although, I am tempted to... No, I'm going to stick with where I am. This is where I get quite a lot of barbel. 73 is way too hard. That's going to be on the ground. Yep, there we go. Just give that a good old tug and get it back in the water. We've got 10... <laughs> Excuse me. We've got 10 minutes left to try and catch a really good barbel. Like, really good. I can't see it happening, but it has been an enjoyable fishing session. Lots of movement below me. This is deep as well here. Oh, we've got, no, we got one on three. And it's taking off. Could, again, could be a carp or a barbel. Hard to tell at this point. Whatever it is, it's not putting up much of a fight. So it's a diddly one. Oh, he says as it takes off. Oh, we got a barbel. It doesn't look a bad size barbel either. I might be wrong actually, it might be a diddly one. It doesn't seem to be fighting that much. No, it doesn't look too small. I think that's an okay barbel. Here it comes. Yeah, that's a good sized barbel. I'll take that any day. So we've got 
Oh, I pressed it. I pressed the wrong button. I was going to tell you what weight it was, but it's too late. It's already gone. So hopefully we can find some more barbel over there. That's way too hard. That was actually the one that landed on the, on the ground before, right? Maybe it's good luck going on the ground and then just giving it a yank. Should I try and get some more bait in? I'm rubbish at this, but we should always keep regularly feeding small amounts, right? That's how I was taught to fish. That's not far enough. Close, but no, close, but no cigar, as they say. Let's go 60. That's not much further. We're just going to make a little trail that they have to follow, like a gingerbread trail. 78. That should be good. Even if it falls behind, the tide of the river should bring it this way a bit. 75. Yeah, that's enough. Uh, enough feed in the area. It doesn't seem to help me anyway. Oh, I just want a good barbell. I think today is the last day of these competitions for the... I think it's like you have a week to enter and then I don't know what happens. I presume they start a new one. I will tell you in the next week's video. Any barber want to come over? Might be a disappointing finish to this trip. Seven minutes left. I would like to get a couple of fish in at that time. Oh, there we go. Thank you very much. Answered my prayers. Hook slipping. Oh, it's taking off. It's got a bit of speed, so I want to say barbel. It's not challenging much. I think it's tiny, whatever it is. It is. It's a tiny. Is that a chub? Don't know. It's coming in, whatever it is. It is, it's a little chub. I do like chub though, I think they're really nice looking fish. They're sort of chunky roaches. Ah, oh, where's all the barbel gone? Let's go up that way and just push this out further. Shoop. Number two's off. So let's grab odor number two. Hopefully we've got a lovely barbel. With a heartbeat would be good. No heartbeat. And it seems to be a bit lethargic, so I'm guessing a carp. But my guesses aren't that accurate, as you've probably noticed from watching these videos. It's coming in nicely. Why not? Let's have a look. Let's see if we can get it to the surface. Come on. Don't go that way. Stay this way. Are you a barbel? Are you a carp? You're staying under the water, so tempted to say carp. Hook strain, whatever it is, it doesn't want to come in. But they didn't do any of them want to come in, in all fairness. not actually straining my line that much so I'm not gonna say it's a big one yeah it's a carp carp stay really low in the water when you're trying to bring them in oh, maybe we'll send out a random line over this direction see if we can pick up any barbel over here Unlikely, but we'll, <laughs> we're not getting a lot over this way. We've got four minutes left. Four minutes. Let's reset number three. I'm getting desperate now. I need a fish. Um, do you know what? We have a lot of movement and bubbles over this way normally. So let's just do a quick into this area. That's 13 foot deep there. We've widened our net. We seem to be hitting carp over by those reeds now. Well, as you saw at the beginning of the video, it was just barbel after barbel coming out of there. Four minutes, give me a fish, come on. 
Give me a nice big barbel. It's not looking promising, is it? Um, whilst we're waiting, if you've enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you haven't done already, please subscribe. It does help the channel. It really does. I know every YouTuber says it. Um, but without subscribers and you guys, we, we're we just a unwatched channel. It doesn't bother me that much because I just enjoy making the videos and playing the games. Um, I had a comment the other day saying how, how my my enjoyment of the game came through in the video and I'm ah, that's good that's exactly what I want I want it to feel like I'm enjoying it because I am come on three minutes we can get a fish it's gonna end on a downer isn't it there's bloody cart moved in and it was all over hmm okay we're definitely running out of time now three minutes four seconds are we going to get a fish in? Nope, I think it's ended on a, uh, a sad note, really. Uh, we didn't get any higher than we were, but we are still at 13th position. If you've enjoyed, I've done that bit. Um, I'm going to leave you now, and I'll see you next time.